How's it going guys? I'm Robert from Machado Visuals and I wanted to give a quick review of my new tripod, the O'Connor 1040 Ultimate. I've actually been meaning to upgrade my legs for some time and when I saw a deal on Cine Kit List for 20% off, I absolutely could not pass it up. So why in the world would I spend $10,000 on something that just holds the camera? Well, a solid tripod is literally the foundation of your camera setup and is something that's used on nearly every job. It always makes me chuckle whenever I see people that dump tens and thousands of dollars into their camera setup and it's all being supported by a cheap little Manfrotto head. I really wanna stress that whatever you put your camera on is just as important as the camera itself. For the past five years, I've been using the Miller Compass 20 that's treated me very well and still works like a charm, but I'm at the point where it's right at the payload limit for some of my heavier camera builds. The 1040 is a lightweight version of the industry standard 2575, which is probably one of my favorite heads ever. If you show up on set and there's a 2575 waiting for you as an operator, you know you're gonna have a good time. For most of my work, however, the 2575 obviously isn't that practical, so the smaller 1040 is perfect, especially when paired with the Flowtech 100 legs. I'm a huge fan of these legs since you can release both stages from the top levers, and the built-in handle makes changing camera height super, super easy. Another neat feature of the Flotex are the magnetic feet that keep the tripod collapsed during transport. It's great being able to just pull the sticks out of the bag with the side handle without having the legs go flying everywhere. Making reviews on tripod heads are always a bit difficult because the difference really comes down to how it feels and that's just something you can't demonstrate over video. It does make a world of difference when you're tracking talent across the frame and having a tripod head with the proper drag can really help smooth out your operating. One of the coolest things about the 1040 is the stepless drag and counterbalance control. Most other heads have a minimum payload and drag selectors with no in-between that are either too much or too little, but the 1040 seamlessly supports payloads from zero to 45 pounds so that I can throw on anything from a small A7S to a full Alexa build without a sweat. You never wanna be working against your tripod during a shot, so having a balanced camera is crucial. It allows you to be accurate and precise because your effort is focused on executing the move, not supporting the extra weight of a camera. So a few small quirks that I noticed about this tripod, there's no way to completely disengage the drag fluid to let the axis move freely. This isn't a huge deal, but there have been a couple scenarios where I've needed zero drag on a specific axis. There's also no indicator for the counterbalance knob, so you just have to feel it out when you're balancing a new camera package. Another small note is that this tripod doesn't include a quarter inch 20 screw, only two 3 8 screws. Not a huge deal since you'll be attaching your own plate anyway, but this is important to know if your camera doesn't have 3 8 holes. Another thing that was slightly disappointing is that this package didn't include any kind of spreader. You'd think that for a package that costs over $10,000, it would include a spreader, but that's another $700 addition that you need to purchase separately. And I definitely think it's needed because although the Flotex are fast and convenient, you do take a small hit on stability because the legs are so light. So keep in mind that if you're getting aggressive on some of the higher drag settings, you might feel the legs shifting a little bit. Again, not a big deal. If you're moving the tripod because the drag is too high, that probably means you need to lower it anyway. A lot of people always ask for tripod recommendations, and since the 1040 might be out of budget for most people, I'll probably always default to Miller. Fun fact, Miller actually invented the fluid head, so they definitely know a thing or two about making good tripods. A lot of people enjoy Sockler, and they also make great heads, but I always end up preferring how Miller feels, but that's just my personal preference. The Sockler Ace M is another great lightweight system for smaller cameras, and I actually own that system as well. Hopefully this video is helpful in some way. A good tripod might not seem like something you want to spend your hard-earned dollars on, but a good tripod is something that should last you the rest of your career, and I've always been an advocate of buying it once. Small incremental upgrades are definitely financially easier, but it'll end up biting you on the back end since you'll keep having to upgrade every few years as your needs grow. So I'm super excited to have the quality of O'Connor in a lightweight package, and this will probably be one of the last tripod systems that I ever buy. If you have any questions on this video, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.